Hey guys, welcome. I'm Parshvika. Welcome to the channel where we talk a lot about making money online as a creative person, as an artist. Well, in today's video, it's a November update video. It's the last day of the November and we are here to look at the updates of the November. Let's dive in. Give this video a big thumbs up. Do consider subscribing if you want more videos. And you can very well grab the Zazzle up products, creative fabric products, the different products we have. The links are in description box below. Some are free products, some are paid products. You could very well check it out. The workbook planner, the ebook and the guides and tutorials, a lot more stuff is there. And you can very well check our website www.globorj.info for more information. All the links are in description box below. You could very well check it out. Anyway, guys, well, uh, we are at the end of the November and then we are entering into the December, the last month of the 2023. So we have the cool November updates. So let's quickly dive into the updates. We have the Zazzle updates, Creative Fabric updates and Tee Public updates. And of course, you might be having other updates of the other chain other websites as well but first we're gonna dive into the zazzle updates and this month we have some cool new product launch updates and some new features that are coming on the zazzle make sure to let me know in the comment section below if you want a complete video on these particular topics like a particular uh particular tool or particular uh, feature that Zazzle launched recently. If you want me to make a video on that, do let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to make a video on that as well. First update from the Zazzle is we have a new product launch of the tape measure. Uh, that's kind of like a DIY lovers can measure up in style. So maximum personalization, you can check about the more product details, what exactly it is. It's for the DIYers, carpenters and crafters in their lives with a new tape measure. Okay, that's a new product launch. You can check the length and width and more details. What's the material, plastic and rubber. The most important thing to take into account is the top keywords and designs. These are the pink, uh, vintage, kids, black, cool, funny, purple, gold, green. And then we have the next update is about the product relaunch about the poker chips. If you know that a few months back only, the poker chips was launched on the Zazzle as a new product and they're relaunching it. Today we see the return of a popular item that will be sure to be the talk of your friendly poker games or as a favorite events like weddings or birthdays. The range of nine colors provide option for every taste and occasion. So they have the nine colors. Now, keywords for this particular product that's most important is the vintage, cool, gold, red, white, pink, black, blue, purple, green, orange, wedding, art deco, uh, birthday, black and white, Christmas cut, cute, funny, Halloween, modern, monogram, novelty, photo. So that's the launching of the poker chips, uh, relaunching, not launching exactly, it's a relaunching. You can check out the keywords and the design ideas for that. The another we have the iPhone 15 cases. That's the another product launch is iPhone 15 cases. Additional requests for off-site marketing. You can very well check out how to get the maximum exposure for this new product if you're creating a design. Now, trending themes and trending colors for this particular case is um, trending themes. First is a cute, cool monogram, photo, cat, glitter, Christmas, floral, Halloween, flower, funny, kawaii, retro, wildflower, heart. Uh, trending colors is pink, black, green, blue, off-white, red, gold, purple, white, yellow, orange. Uh, then we have the new wax colors. If you know that few, I think in October only, the, the, they launched the wax, the cool wax for placing your design and they have launched the new colors right now. So we have two new uh, wax colors of the holiday season. That's a vibrant red and the dark green. That's amazing. Product launches. Now we're going to talk about some new feature updates on Zazzle. So first update we have for that particular section is the now with the video. Make your product stand out with the video manager now with video. I think they have launched this video section in October as well and I've utilized that. Creators have been leveraging the amazing feature of creator generated cover photos to merchandise their product designs in a way that stands out uniquely within the marketplace. This recently got a major upgrade with the ability to use videos to showcase your product and collections. So that just they are actually to, talking more about it that use the now with video feature media manager to get more exposure on the uh, Zazzle. Make your product stand out. That's another thing. And moving on, 
we have the 2023 zazzle holiday lookbook now you can very well check out the lookbook now obviously it's the november and we have only few couple weeks or couple days in the december for the holiday and then we're gonna be proceeding towards the january and the february product event sales like the new year valentine and all that but still you can very well check out the holiday lookbook for december it doesn't hurt i am checking out so the holiday have been descended upon us we have absolutely thrilled to introduce our 2023 holiday lookbook you can click over here and you can very well check out what's popular in the holiday season right now so if i'm gonna click over to that particular section to know more about the holiday lookbook it's the create magic presenting zazzle 2023 holiday lockbook uh you can read about it more ways to discover how it's actually looking they have videos and you can very well check it out guys to know more about it let's dive into the another section another update image adjust mode for customer now this particular update is for the customers for actually uploading their images to your product and customizing it and then uh, either downloading the designs if it's a digital products or purchasing the physical products so exciting news we are taking customization to a whole new level and it's a game changer for both our success and our customer shopping experience we know that images come in all shapes and sizes even with our amazing tools finding what you want can still be a bit of a puzzle so with this fantastic feature your customer can effortlessly swap out these stock images with their own helping them focus on the heart of the desired image this too so this feature is only available in the desktop at the moment and only works for images that are set to fill so if you have set the images set to fill then this particular feature will going to work on your product so make sure you do that for your customer for easy replacing the images and placing their own images and it's only working in the desktop right now new adjust mode for customers it's only for the customer and they have a youtube video explaining how to do that okay now uh, another update is how collection cover photos work with marketplace channels now they are focusing so much on the collection recently like coming up with the collection uh, videos like adding the videos in the collection or also adding your own cover photos in the collection they're focusing so much because collections are now searchable on the search engine so we have been thrilled to witness the incredible media you have been adding to your product pages and collection in recent weeks as a result we have been working diligently to provide new ways to showcase them on our platform and give them recognition with the goal of increasing your earnings so uh it's working in conjunction with the cross sell collection feature right now you can very well check it out how this zazzle collection feature media manager zazzle marketplace is working uh collection in searches you can search the collection in the searches that's so amazing if you have a collection on the zazzle and you're using cover photos and you are having a proper title and uh tag and description then it's searchable on the zazzle i've already made a video talking about that particular feature on the collection make sure you check it out that video i'm going to leave in the cast section above but now the collection are searchable so that's amazing if you're utilizing the collection if you're not please utilize it because you're getting one more chance to be found on the zazzle so prevent such overlap we recommend reframing from such using single product images for your collection media so they, the another was the sesame street design contest that they were having unleash your imagination for a chance to win uh i think i've already mentioned in my uh october update as well another is shining a spotlight join us in celebrating native american heritage month so as we approach Native American Heritage Month, we want to take the opportunity to feature the incredible work of our Native American creators on Zazzle. So uh, it's for the November updates. Uh, I think November is crossed, so it's on. The, another feature is about the uh, last update that I have for the Zazzle is Zazzle generated collection real views wedding cross sell. So we are excited to share some updates for your collection that will boost the visibility of your designs and create more opportunity for cross selling. Zazzle will automatically generate collective real views based on the products in your collections. Our aim is to showcase a diverse range of products to provide customer with a view of your offering, ultimately increasing cross-selling opportunities and helping you earn more. So now you would be able to see your collection in the real views and see how many views you are getting and the analytic and insights of your own collections. You can check about the more details. If you want me to make a video on this particular topic, do let me know in the comment section below. I'll gonna make a video on this particular topic about how to see the collection in the real views. Uh, it's a cross-sell wedding collection only. They are giving you the example right now how to use it. 
and you can check more details about it. So these are the Zazzle updates. Now we're gonna move towards the Creative Fabrica updates and then a little bit about the Tee Public update. The Creative Fabrica update, the biggest update we have is the Creative Fabrica AI Studio is here. If you remember in the October month, I was talking about they are launching a studio, coming up with new surprising things and here they have launched the studio in the November. So bring your creative vision to live with this particular Creative Fabrica Studio, the AI, the all-in-one platform for creators with innovative tools, templates, and assets you can unleash your creativity get started you can very well use it that's what they launched it and then how to they have actually sent a bunch of the emails talking about it kickstart your creativity with the vectorizer so that's the new thing about this particular ai studio is that you can create svg files with this particular ai studio that's been launched recently on the creative fabrica as a part of the ai spark if you have been using the spark feature on the creative fabrica the ai feature or the ai tool then this is a new section for you that's a studio that you can Kickstart your creativity with the vectorizer with the SVG and transparent PNG file. Turn any PNG or JPEG into SVG files right inside the studio. Simply add your own images for custom vectorization, sparking creativity in every project. So you can convert the JPEG and the PNG files into the SVG files. So that's an amazing vectorizing and then you can use these SVG files on Creative, Fab on Creative Fabrica itself or even on Zazzle or any other print on demand platform you can see how to use it that's an amazing feature in their studio along with that they were having a lot of the Black Friday deals which are skipping right now guys because the Black Friday is already gone and it's for basically for the customers not for the creators for the creators on the Creative Fabrica this is amazing update for Creative Fabrica studio to make SVG files from JPEG and PNG files and you can use these SVG files for creating your crafts for creative projects, even for print on demand, for any other specific projects that you want to use these SVG files. So that's an amazing update in their Creative Fabrica Studio. The last update we have is for the T Public. Now, T Public, uh, nothing much update. It's there. It's kind of like a top advice for holiday success for the creators. So we sent you some of the most uh, helpful holiday tips earlier. Uh, this month and the big sale weekend is coming up. It's all about the holidays for the Black Friday and Cyber Monday. You can upload every design you have. Don't leave any at work. Just sitting around collecting dust. Just upload your work. Highlight fun new products like tie-dye tees that will be refreshed and exciting for holiday shopper this year. Share your store link and sale dates with your followers on social media. A design for popular themes like vintage, horror, Christmas, hip hop, funny, cat, and music. And bonus point, if you can design for all of them at the same time and review your tags so they are optimized for search. Make sure you have the popular products activated like classic tees, stickers, mugs, and hoodies. These are the basic tips that they are sharing in their email newsletter. Be sure your storefront is up to date with the banner, avatar, and social media links. These are not just the holiday tips. This is for any specific uh, tea public tips if you're looking for maximizing your sales on tea public. Make sure you upload the designs. Make sure you're utilizing the new products at the tie-dye t-shirt, which they launch in October. Make sure you actually sharing your, your store link on social media or Pinterest. Utilizing the trending niches if you're interested in that. Uh, also utilizing the popular product like the classic tees, stickers, mugs, and hoodies. Hoodies is a time of the winter, Christmas, that's why. And then updating your storefront. So that's what the tea public stuff is there. You can keep your fans in the loop this holiday. Like you can check out a bunch of the email newsletters that they've sent you. But this is the most important updates we have for the November for the Zazzle, Creative Fabrica and Tee Public. Now we're going to move towards another section of our video is what are the uh, designs, niches or the stuffs that you can target in the late November or early December. Now for the Christmas, it's pretty late. Don't go for Christmas at all. If you are going from the new year, if you want to upload a little bit designs for the new year, then you can upload. But I won't recommend you to upload for the new year because new year is still late. People are purchasing already for Christmas and New Year together, so it's still late. But if you want to upload it, then upload it right now in the first few days of the December and in the late November. The best time to target for the uh, events for the occasions that are for the February, March and April. That's are the Valentine, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, 
these are the best time to target for those niches for those designs that you can upload the designs right now i don't think that since it's the uh, almost about the end of the quarter four only the december is there and then once december is gone then the january would start the quarter four is a low sale no no don't think that way you still can make good sales and you can still make good amount of money in the quarter one as well it doesn't matter uh, whether it's quarter four quarter one of course in the quarter four the sales goes pretty high but still you can make money in the quarter one as well so you can target for the valentine easter saint patrick's day right now that's for the uh February, March, and April uh, occasion and events that you can target right now if you're going for the trending. If you're going with the evergreen, then very well you can go with whatever niche you want to target. You can also target with the spring niches because spring would be there once this uh, Christmas is gone, once this winter is gone. So you can also target for the spring designs and niches as well. So this is for the designs and niches to target in the late november and early december now let's talk about what i am targeting right now now i am also focusing on the end of the december now since i've took a break from designing in the past couple of the weeks i wasn't designing in the november now i'm thinking of redesigning again i just designed few of the designs back in the october and that's all i wasn't preparing much of the quarter for so for me it's like uh, this quarter four was really a, a great, amazing experience, a different experience, which I never had in the past two years of my Zazzle journey. I'm talking about the Zazzle. If I'm looking at the overall uh, quarter four, it was OK. But if I'm talking about the Zazzle from the past two years, it's been really different. I mean, this was a third quarter four that I had for the Zazzle. It was really different. I wasn't expecting that much. Uh, but still, I learned a lot of the stuffs in this quarter four. I was sitting back and relaxing instead of uploading designs and uploading the stuffs. I was trying to relax and chill out because it's been past two years have been really hectic with uploading the designs. I really enjoyed the process, but still it was a lot of the work and I was really burnt out and tired. And plus I was traveling and I'm still traveling. So the things were I need to manage a lot of the stuff. Earlier, I was at my parents' place, so I only need to focus on business, designing, and that's it. Now I need to focus so much, not just on my business. I have my personal life. I have traveling. I need to focus on the traveling stuff as well, where I'm going to stay, what I'm going to be eating. Like, there is so much more that's going right now, not just my business. So that's why I was completely burned out and tired from my design. So I took a break. So currently, I'm not focusing on quarter four at all because I haven't uploaded the Christmas designs or New Year's design. Now I'm focusing for the quarter one. The beginning of the new year the 2024 i'm focusing on that and i'm gonna be tr targeting the training niches but this time i'm gonna be approaching something different in my designing career uh, I'm not going to be going like crazy with designing, uploading, designing like that, which I did in the beginning. Now I'm going to be really intentional with my designs and really taking my time, which designs I want to target, what kind of niches and designs I want to target and what I really want to specialize in. Because now I feel like my stores are getting access and getting visibility on the Zazzle. So now is the time to actually focus on what my store should be called in the future, that kind of building a brand. Now I'm focusing more on building a brand rather than focusing on uploading the designs, random designs to see what fits or what doesn't fit because it's been two years and now I have a lot of the data for my store. So I know I can focus on the branding on what I really want to be known for my own stores. And I'm going to be focusing on only those designs. Of course, I'm going to be targeting the trending niches and designs as well. But my focus would be what my niches or what my designs or what my store needs to be focusing in terms of the branding. My focus would be on that. So I'm going to be shifting my focus and trying to move my focus in various different directions right now. That's what my main thing is there. Uh, and I'm going to be focusing on the quarter one, the 2024, the third year or the fourth year of my business in general. Yeah, fourth year of my business in general, but third year for my Zazzle business in 2024. So I'm going to be focusing on more quality. Of course, I was uploading the quality design as well, but I'm going to be focusing on more intentional designs rather than just uploading uploading random designs because first i was doing that to see what works but now i know what works so i'm going to be focusing on intentional designing and i'm not going to be designing like that crazy of spending days or hours in a day to work on designing because i have other stuff and other duties in my life since i've been traveling i'm not at my parents place i have my own place uh, with my partner so i have other responsibilities as well in my personal life so i'm not going to be focusing that much on the designing i would be designing but i'm going to be really intentional and really thinking what i really want to target for my niches 
for my store and then I'm going to be doing that. So if you want to know my strategy of 2024 designing, do let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to make a separate video on that topic. But that's what I'm thinking. And these are the updates and these are the niches that you could target. Hopefully you find this video useful. Do let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'll see you the next time. Till then, take care. Bye, guys.